Hey, here we are again to talk about the the last issue of House of X. Um, gonna House miss of it. X number six. Yeah, yeah, House of X number six, the final issue. So, um, what did you think of the final issue? I liked it. It wasn't like this big old climax or anything that I thought it might be, but I still like the issue. Well, first I'll just say that I do like the cover um, with Storm and um, Emma Frost, and I didn't know who the other person was. Uh, but you just told me Exodus Exodus or whatever because I was like is that a man or is that a woman or whatever because it kind of no, he's, like, he's a guy with long hair well you know he's he, flowing he kind of looks you know <laughs> it could be either way androgynous or metrosexual or I don't know well whatever <laughs> well he's been around a while though it's weird that well yeah I guess he well, came out around that era yeah oh, well, anyway I just like the cover well I like you know I like pink and I like purple so I like the cover with the purple um, house of X up in the corner I didn't even notice it. pink Yes, in the pink here, you oh, know, gosh. that's Krakoa in well, the that's, background. That's more lavenderish. Whatever. It's I lavender. like the colors. The colors kind of pop to me, so I was like, oh, that's a pretty issue. And, you know, Emma Frost got her little white outfit on, like, hey. <laughs> so I was, you know, I thought that was kind of, I like the, I like the cover, so what? Yes, girly, girly, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I thought the cover looks cool. I never looked at it from a girly perspective, though. <laughs> So I thought it was pretty cool. So we got to see where one of ex Professor X's little secret place was where he does the backup. So he was up in there with Magneto and Mora. Uh, so we got to, you know, see Mora since what? Issue, I don't know what. <laughs> two. Issue. I think we saw her past issue two. But anyway, you, wouldn't, you know, we haven't seen Mora in a while. And so we saw her up there with Professor X and Magneto. And they were basically talking about, you know, what it is that they were going to do. And, you know... Magneto and Professor X had this little conversation. Magneto basically was like, hey, you know, everything that happened in the past between us, basically that's squashed. So I thought that was pretty cool. I did find it odd, though, that Professor X did not have on, um, what's the helmet called again? Cerebral. Cerebro. However, they would not show Professor X's face. They showed yeah. Cerebro. They showed <laughs> Professor X standing up. They showed the back of him, his head or whatever. They would not show, like, his complete face. So It makes they, you think that something's up. Well, I don't know, but I was just like, that's kind of odd that they won't show I his face. I don't trust like, nobody. Like, I'm like, why we can't see a man's face? Why we can't see his face? But whatever. He's like pulling a shady on us. <laughs> anyway, so he put on Cerebro, and then he sends his message out to everybody, to the world, to humans, or whatever, basically letting them know, like, hey, uh, I'm a mutant Xavier. I mean, Charles yeah. Xavier, and I bring you a message of hope. And then he goes on to explain that. And that's uh, when he talks about the drugs. That's when he talks about else. the drugs. Yeah. He said he had a dream that humans and mutants could basically coexist and all this stuff. And that basically that dream was a lie because the humans all they did was ostracize them and and fight against them and kill all their you know and kill their children and all that stuff. So he talked about that. He said for that reason I'm not gonna just give you these drugs that's gonna extend your life and cure all your diseases and all this stuff. He said but you can't pay for it. I was like whoop whoop no because <laughs> basically price. you messed up. It comes at a price. Like okay look since you guys did all this to us. I'm not going to give you this drug for free, but you can't pay for it. And I only have two conditions. And the first condition was what? He wants, um, he wants, I think it was. He wants them to be seen as a, a as sovereign a state. state. Yeah, he wants and he said that, um, you know, the mutants are not going to be um, judged by um, humans, that they will be judged by mutants. So they need a period of amnesty so they can handle that business. And then there was another term. Was that it? Planet. Oh, he said oh. the second term was that all mutants by birth can be can claim Krakoan citizenship. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. so that was his term. The first one was, you know, we're going to be seen as a sovereign nation, and then all the mutants are um, Krakoans, can claim Krakoan city, citizenship. Basically, he also said that you guys are not going to dictate to us. Like, basically, he just came like, look, these are our terms. This is what we're going to do. how it's be. You're not going to dictate to us. He said, we are the future and an evolutionary inevitability the Earth's true inheritors, which I was kind of like, mm, you know, whatever. And basically, um, when you close your eyes last night and you woke up today, the world changed. That reminds me of, like, the first issue, I think, because yeah, he made... that is his quote. That's that was his quote, quote from the from first, first, like, when you woke up, you know, the while world changed. While you were sleeping, the world changed. Yeah, the world like changed, that. yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Like, so I thought that was, you know, Xavier was coming with the hardcore. I was like, okay, okay, Professor X, I see you, yeah, I see it, you. Uh, so we get to see who's going to be on the council. Yeah, that was cool. That was pretty cool, yeah. I see that Cyclops is the captain commander, so basically, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they basically have this. They have this hierarchy now, where they have like a council. Uh, the council is. Uh, they have a pretty interesting roll call for the council. We have um, Professor X, Magneto, and Apocalypse. Yep. Apocalypse. Um, Mister Sinister. 
uh, Exodus and Mystique, and I, I don't okay, think Mystique I will say can get this. any I was kind of like, I don't even know why they put. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, why does Mystique get to be on the council? But exactly. whatever, you know. Yeah. Bath dude is on there, so I'm like, I'm cool with that. I was going through the list of who's on there. Come on, man. Speed then, up. Uh, then we got uh, <laughs> then we have um, Sebastian Shaw and Emma Frost. Okay, which they talked about that last time. And then the only X Men that we have on there is uh, Storm, Jean, and Nightcrawler. <laughs> Most of them are consisting of people who are in adversarial relationships with the X Men. Uh, I just thought that was a little weird, but at the same time, though, if you are if you are calling in people who you've had an adversarial relationship with, and you recognize that they are masterminds, even if at the time they were against you. Then yeah, I can see why he would invite them to the table because it's like okay, yeah, we are gonna we re, we are gonna respect your brilliance more than the beef that we've had in the past. So I get that. It's just kind of weird to me that it's overwhelmingly, uh, you know, bad guys, quote unquote. <laughs> I don't care. I'm like they got the people on the council. I don't care if they're good or bad. You know, they're gonna have a discussion and stuff. As a matter of fact, they did have their first round table and they made three rules. And uh, one was respect the sacred land, respect for core. The other one was murder no humans, no man. Which I was like, okay. I mean, I guess I because can they, understand well, that for because they feel like humans are, you know, f for lack of a better term, better term, inferior because you know, mutants have these they powers they can't and all this stuff. Back. Like. Yeah, and then too, um, they can bring all the mutants back. Yeah, and then the other one was make more mutants because Bath dude came up with that with him being Christian and everything. You know, go go forth yeah, and, and it, multiply. It's kind of crazy, but that brings us to a whole <laughs> thing because it's kind of crazy that that he even said that. You know, he like quoted the quoted the scripture on that, like you know, and use it to say, okay, we need to make more and subdue the earth. It's like okay, this is a, this is kind of funny to me because we all know like in the future. What powers have told us is that Mrs. Sinister starts breeding these mutants and that that ends up bringing about their downfall or whatever because he betrays them or whatnot. But we see now that this is where it starts, right here, with the only religious member of the group comes up with this suggestion that's going to end up bringing about, you know, a downfall for them eventually. So, yeah, for him to be the one who suggests making more mutants, it's like, okay, now what are you going to do? Now you're going to go and you're going to start breeding mutants, you're going to start creating mutants. You know, no, they're going to do like they always do. They're going to have relationships. They're going to have babies just like how humans do. Here. Well, you forget that um they that they started doing uh, breeding pits. Sinister started doing a breeding Because remember in Powers of X, we have like these mutants that are all these other... Uh, all, okay, and then they're going to bring genetic. back the dead. So that's like over 6 million of them or something like that. Okay, go be fruitful. The reality is you want your your species to to um overpower the other species. No, I wasn't <laughs> gonna say that. You want your species to continue on generation to generation. So the only way to do that is to be fruitful and multiply. So then they um they um gave their first sentence to one of their mutants. It was um saber tooth. And that was foul, by the way. So basically, <laughs> since they came up with this council and they made this rule, they said, Saber Tooth, basically, you broke this rule. When Magneto sent you on this mission, he was like, I told you specifically not to do, I don't know, X, Y, and Z, and you broke those rules and you killed these people. So now we're going to go ahead and they took a vote and they decided to go ahead and find him guilty. And they don't believe in prisons or anything. So what they did was X out Something him. Worse. And what they did was put him down in a what, in a core of Krakoa or put them down this hole or something and basically, said they basically, they basically put them in a prison even though they say that they don't believe in prison. They put them down here in this deep hole where he's not going to have contact he's gonna with anybody. He's going to be in stasis. He's going to be in this But space. his mind is going to be aware, which yeah. is really messed up. And they up. said, maybe one day you can redeem yourself. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was kind of foul. I was like, first of all, you didn't make this rule until just Exactly. Now. That was so the issue that I had with it. You can't that punish this issue. man for a rule that you just now established. D exactly. Like, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I understand Magneto. You sent him on his mission and you told him not to do that and he did it anyway. And you guys plucked him from human um human laws and you said we're gonna it's take like, care of this ourselves but you just now you just made it you five the minutes, did not exist two minutes <laughs> one minute before you put this man yeah, and send him and put him ass out I was foul, not cool man. with that, that was I foul. like Saber Tooth Saber Tooth is a bad guy to understand it I like Saber Tooth she like all the bad guys <laughs> anyway I don't like all bad guys Saber Tooth is a bad guy and I do like him but I feel like it was foul to sit up there and sentence him and punish him for a rule that you just implemented two minutes ago. Yeah. And he did this stuff like three or four issues ago. I know. I that was like foul. He, he did in the first pass. issue. I, I feel like you should have gave him a pass and be like, all I right. Said, okay, yeah, next time, rules. these are the rules. So next time, you know. If you do but you it again, 
You don't make That's a rule it. and then judge, you know, like sentence somebody to something that you just created that they already Basically, did. Basically, they That's made foul. the rule and grandfathered him in and be like, yeah, all right, that here was you go. Foul, man. So I didn't, I didn't like that. I was like, that was, that, was, that was foul. That was foul. They could have gave that man another chance or whatever. And I was like, you know, that was foul. So Saber choose a butthole, but still, it's like, <laughs> come on, dude. So. You know, they did that, and then you know, they but Stick didn't even stand up for him, man. All of them, I mean, well, even Bath dude was like guilty. I was like, wow, I yeah, thought that Bath was, that dude would have been like, you know, come on, let's you know, let's give him another chance. So, yeah, um, so then you know, they went ahead and they sentenced him or whatever, put him down in the court, or whatever, and then they went on to have this celebration because you know, they just had their first meeting, first meeting at their council, everybody is happy, they're having fireworks and all that stuff. Now, this is what I was saying, right? So um, there's a picture where um, um, Cyclops, oh, that, um, Wolverine, you were talking about and that. Jean were all just standing there. And it looked like they have some beers in their hand, but I'm pretty sure yeah, it's, it's not beer. beer. Well, I don't know if it was Wolverine beer Wolverine drinks beer. Okay, well, anyway, he had some beers in his hand. and he, Wolverine had his arm around, you know, Cyclops and, and Jean. I thought that was kind of, you know, I thought that was kind of funny, kind of cute, because supposedly, you know, he was, Wolverine had Wolverine's a thing for Jean. You know, he had a thing for Jean, and, you know, Jean is with um, Cyclops <laughs> or whatever. And then, and then... When um, Cyclops and Gene were just standing there, Cyclops looked like he was looking past Gene, and they show you it looks like he was looking at um, Emma. Emma Frost. Emma Frost was had just sitting thing, there. He had a, they had a thing in the past. Too, anyway, so. like, can I finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so he looking past Emma Frost. Emma Frost got on her white little suit, her little you know short shorts or whatever she got on her little her little stockings that come up to here. Her, she's I sitting over there. Year. Yeah, she's sitting over there like with a cute little sexy um um. Sitting there looking all cute and sexy, whatever, and Cyclops over there looking at her. So he give um um Jean a beer, and Jean walks over there and she sits down next to um to Emma Frost, and she kind of just hand her one, and then Emma Frost turn and just give um Cyclops like this little cute little sexy smile, like thank you, um you know kind of lustful, and then Cyclops sitting over there, and then some dude, some other dude to come behind him and like kind of put his arm around him like this, like yeah dude, you about to get you about to get lucky tonight. So. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, they look, it's kind of three, like oh, a little threesome goodness. about to go on. So, <laughs> they having freak Nick, they having mutant they freak, have freak Nick. They about to have freak Nick with Cyclops, MNG, like, yeah, oh, we about to get goodness. it all. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I was thinking. I thought it was cute. I'm like, all right, Cyclops, all right, Cyclops. <laughs> it, did, it did look like, though. It, it did, did look, look like, like that it was about to go get it on. So, <laughs> it did look, you know, but whatever. I thought that was cute. I was like, all right, Cyclops, all right, Gene, all right. It did kind of look. It did kind of look like Wolverine and Cyclops and Gene was gonna have a little, uh, a little action, you know. The way no, that, not the to me. It just was. looked like, you know, it just looked like they were all buddy buddy, and it was just kind of funny how they had the little triangle. But to me, it looked kind of sexualized when it was um, Cyclops, Emma Frost, and um, and Gene. So you know, yeah. I like that little part. I was like, whoop whoop. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And then Magneto said something to Xavier. He was like, J just look at what we have made. So I thought that was a cool little quote. It's not perfect, at the but... end, you know, him and um him and uh, Professor X were standing up there. You can see like the fireworks going off in the background. They're both just standing up there like superheroes. And he was like, like hey, we have done it. Look what look what we've done. You know. So I thought it was a cool issue. I liked it. Right. Yay. <laughs> but uh yeah, if I was gonna give it a, a rating, I'd probably give it like a um Eight. I, I just I I wanted a few more explosions for this finale. No, <laughs> just me. Like it's just it. just me. No. Just me. I mean, it was a good issue. I just wanted to see something. That I like that. Like, you know, Ooh. Professor X came out and basically told the world. Professor what it X is. came out. <laughs> he basically came out, told the world what it is that they gonna do. You know, you start to see a, a farmer stance from Professor X yeah. because, like I said before. You can only take so much for so long before you start saying, you know what, enough is enough. And now he's saying enough is enough. But at least he didn't go out and say, we're going to just kill all your asses. He's saying, we're just going to, you know, do our own thing over here. And you guys better recognize that. Yeah, he's hard instead of flaccid now. <laughs> so, you know, I like that. I like, you know, like I said, the whole thing with, uh, I didn't like, you know, say the two thing. I like the whole thing at the end, them celebrating and everything because, you know, they're about to get it on. <laughs> Trinidad! <laughs> Anyway, yeah, anyway. I, I thought it was yeah. a cool issue. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Um, bye. All right, bye, you guys. <laughs> See you later.